again everyone and if you're new here my name is Adriana Harlan and today I'm going to show you how to cut cauliflower into florets and make cauliflower rice. several different ways to cut cauliflower and I'm just gonna show you the method that I use most often okay so before I get started I have a good tip for you to store your cauliflower in the fridge so that it lasts way longer so keep it in the fridge right side up with the leaves facing down this will keep most of the moisture down low and the top won't get moldy so fast and if you get some of those brown spots like I have here it's not a problem shave them off with your knife so now using your chef's knife Cut the cauliflower head in half, then cut each half in half again, so you have four large pieces. Now with a smaller knife, you can easily cut the stem and core right off. See how easy? You can then cut the stem a little more, and you're left with these beautiful cauliflower florets. Go ahead and cut them smaller if you like. Cauliflower is definitely one of those vegetables that not everybody likes. And even for me, it took some time to find the right seasonings to make cauliflower taste good. And you know, even the methods of cooking cauliflower changes the way it tastes. So I highly encourage you to try a few different recipes. And to just give you a little bit of inspiration, I have a really good shepherd's pie recipe on my blog. It uses mashed cauliflower instead of mashed potatoes. It's so creamy, so good, and even the kids love it. Okay, so now on to making cauliflower rice. Making cauliflower rice at home is very easy and it's much cheaper than if you buy the cauliflower already ground up. So today I'm gonna show you how to do this and we're going to season the rice with some lime juice, coconut milk, and cilantro, which is one of my favorites. So for this you need a food processor, a blender also works, but I find that the food processor grinds the cauliflower a little bit more even. And today I'm gonna be using my grater attachment. The grater attachment gives me some nice grain-like pieces. So I like to use that, but if you don't have it, don't worry. You can just use the normal blade in your food processor. Nutritionally, cauliflower is a powerhouse. It's loaded with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. It's low in carbs and super healing for the gut. Heat some olive oil in a large skillet. I'm gonna saute some onions until they soften up and get some color. Add the cauliflower and give it a quick stir. Then add salt and pepper, the juice of half a lime, add the coconut milk and give it a stir. Let it cook for 5 minutes or until it's tender and try it. If you like it softer, let it cook a little longer. It smells so good, so now turn off the stove and sprinkle some fresh cilantro or another herb of your preference. Just a quick reminder that the written recipe is posted on my blog at livinghealthywithchocolate.com and now I want to chat with you. I want to know what are your favorite ways to season cauliflower. Maybe I'll try your recipe next, so comment down below, okay? And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe here to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.